This is Johan Holmström, the owner of a little grocery store in southern Finland. But here everyone simply calls him Jonta. He opened his little shop in the village of Lapinkila 15 years ago. Jonta has just one regular employee, Anna, who runs the store until noon. A couple of students help out later in the day. Jonta's customers are mainly pensioners from the village and the occasional passerby. The discount grocery chains are making it increasingly tough for him to compete. So when more and more refugees began coming to his store late last year, many of his regular customers were concerned. And Jonta was too. They tried to steal and so on a little. So that made that, you know, in this small shop, the people who was working here was a little bit afraid. And I was thinking, why, why, why is this beginning of something that does make it even more difficult? Jonta went to a town hall meeting, planning to complain. But there, the family man learned how the refugees had been persecuted and forced to flee. I talked to, to Anna and, and, and say that I think we, we, we do as we usually do. We serve people and be, we, we will be nice to them so long as they behave. And then if we have problems with something, we deal with it. Then we saw the, 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 the big change. That they, they was taking us as, as friends. And then he had a bright business idea. To create a supermarket on wheels. Jonta had learned that refugee hostels in southern Finland are often located far from the nearest village, making shopping close to impossible. So, since last December, he's been making the rounds in his bus five days a week. Now it's going to be a little bit bumpy. Take care. No, it's now. Okay? <laughs> On this day, Jonta plans to visit six refugee hostels. It's a 200 kilometer journey right across southern Finland. The first hostel is mainly occupied by families. They come from Syria, Iran, Afghanistan, and Somalia. Okay, moi. Moi. No. Not today. Not today. Next time. Next time. Uh, three and seventy. Three euro seventy cents. Yonta carries about five hundred different kinds of grocery items aboard his bus. Some of them are new additions. It's uh, halal. Yeah. Okay. Amba. Uh, this is kurkuma. Ah, kurkuma, kurkuma, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, but there we, uh, isn't this amber? Barley on Amber. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. euro. <laughs> One euro. One euro. One euro. Yonta stocks oh, specialties from the refugees' homelands. It does. It does. Oh my. Now then, MCV cola. That is the cola. Good Finlandese. Okay. See you next week. Okay. Next he heads for Raseborg, formerly known as Karia. Here he knows many of the refugees. Some have been living in Finland for eight months now. Somebody is not knowing any English, they are just uh, felling by Baghdad. And, 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 and things, you know, like this one, okay, so it's uh, their son's uh, wife shoot in Baghdad or something. And uh, you can see on the face 
and on the whole body of the person that it's a release to talk to someone with it, uh, about it. And that's quite uh, touching moments. Along with full room and board, each refugee living in Finland receives 100 euros a month in pocket money. Although Jonta shells out 150 euros a week on diesel for his bus, he charges the same prices as in his store. Yeah, one euro, nine cents. Yeah, one euro. One euro. Uh, one euro, yeah, yeah. One euro. Uh, I have to pay for oh, gas. Needle, 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 market. Yeah. Needle, uh, can market. One euro. Are, do you have Lidl here? Yeah. No, Lidl. <laughs> and no Bagille and no uh, <laughs> Russia and BBs. Yeah? <laughs> My friend, I have kids, you know. And I have paid for the gasoline. You have to bargain a little because in their culture, you are stupid if you can't bargain. Okay, he used to think the women had little say in household matters, but now he knows differently. It's always the woman who decides about the money. And I have seen situations when they have uh, bought uh, tobacco or cigarettes or something. And even a week later, they are bringing the same back and ask for to change it to a chicken. Learning from each other and dispelling prejudices has become almost as important to Jonta as the business aspect. And he plans to keep on bringing a taste of home to refugees living in Finland. <laughs>